Hi, today I'll show you how to make this. Setting up flame and logo. Start by creating a new composition. I'm keeping it 1280 by 720 for the tutorial purpose, to get fast previews. But, you should keep yours 1920 by 1080 or higher for your projects. Put the actual duration of your song, I'm putting just 30 seconds. Turn on the margins. Now using the typing tool, I will type my channel name. Change the color to white. Go to transparency mode using this button. Enable outline. Make it black. Make sure to select all fills over all strokes. Adjust the outline size to your preference. Press Ctrl plus Alt plus Home to bring anchor point in the middle. Select the text. Go to layer menu. Then click auto trace. In this menu, pause the video and match my settings. This will give you a new layer of masked out text. I'll rename it as orange color. Then drop video copilot's saber plugin on this. Go under the render settings, and make it transparent. Choose layer masks under core menu. From here you can choose any preset to begin with. I will not spend too much time on this cause we can always choose new one later once it's set up. Ok so under core settings, I will make start size to 0. End offset to about 74%. From the description, go to this website, and copy this code, that is written by Dan Eberts, a living legend. But first put your song on timeline. Right click, convert audio to keyframes. It makes this audio amplitude layer. Delete left and right channels from this. Hit U on keyboard to reveal the keyframes. Now hold alt button, and click this mask evolution stopwatch. It'll bring up a typing area. Simply paste the code here that you copied. It will show error, but don't worry, you just have to highlight the first line. Then attach this snail button to the audio layer. Now your line will be replaced with a new line of code. This code will make your flame move slow or fast according to the beat. I see not much difference, so we have to multiply the code by some number. Let's say we do 7.
the difference is visible. Alright let's close this. Then make a duplicate of this flame. Rename it as blue color. Choose a new preset and color that blue. Change the mask evolution value so you can see it. Put it below orange flame. Then just multiply its code by 9 instead of 7. It'll move twice as fast than orange flame. Attach both of the flame layers to your main text layer. Open scale of your text, alt click the stopwatch, attach the snail to audio amplitude. Edit the given code, divided by 4, plus value. Now your text should start to bump. Alt click audio amplitude stopwatch. Type a little code here. Smooth, open bracket, 0 0.1, comma, 21, close bracket. This will make every bump smooth. Make a new composition. Rename it as particle sprite. Size will be 500 by 500. Select shape tool, and draw a circle. Make its color white. And turn off outline if you have. Add a gray colored solid layer. And call it fractal. Put fractal noise effect on this, and copy what I do. Add a keyframe for offset turbulence. Add a keyframe for sub-offset as well. Lastly add a keyframe for evolution. Hit U on keyboard to bring up all keyframes. Go to the end of timeline and change the values of all to add ending keyframes. The value will keep changing as it reaches ending keyframes. Giving you kind of a moving cloud. Put any kind of blur effect. I will put fast blur. Increase the amount. Pre-compose this layer. Name it as map. And match my settings. Turn it off. Create an adjustment layer. Move it below map layer. 
and put displacement map effect on it. Here select the map layer. Basically we are taking the distortion data from map and giving it to our circle. Then put any kind of blur effect above the displacement map effect. Increase the amount. Head back to your main composition. Put particle sprite composition on your timeline. Add a solid layer. Call it particles. Put CC particle world on it. Under particles menu, select texture disk, then define what texture to sample. Simply select particle sprite layer. Adjust the particle size and color etc. You can turn off the sprite layer, we don't need to see it. Now it's kind of hard to explain, so just follow what I do. Basically I'm trying to make particles float by tweaking gravity, velocity and a bunch of other physics things. Just think of it as a real thing, it's going to be easy for you to know exactly what you're doing. I'm happy with it. We can move towards the speed effect. Open up your effect on timeline until you see camera rotation options. Copy the code once again from the website. Alt click and paste it in any of these rotations. Highlight the first line, attach the snail to audio amplitude layer to replace the code. Again there is no much difference. So simply multiply the code by 3. Lastly turn on motion blur on this layer, then press the blur switch to activate it. There you have it. Thank you for watching, hoping you learned something with this tutorial. I will be back with a lyrics tutorial next. Till then, goodbye.